All right, guys, we are going to do this drawing of a German Shepherd today. He's super cute. So um, I'm going to have my paper turned the vertical way instead of horizontal. And we're going to start with some basic shapes, and then we'll add in some shading and make it look awesome, okay? So um, first of all, we're going to um, kind of sketch in where his ears are. So I'm going to draw a big triangle shape kind of right in here. Triangle shape. Can you see it now? Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of mosey on over here and I'm going to do the other ear. I'm going to over here a little bit and we're going to draw his other ear kind of hanging off the edge of the page. It's kind of cool to do drawings where they go right off the edge of the page and they're not, um, you can't see everything, okay? We're going to draw kind of um, his face shape. So we're going to draw a line coming down here and then we're going to draw his nose coming down like this. So those are kind of the shapes we're working with at the moment. Then we're going to have a shape back here. This is going to be his, the rest of his body kind of behind him. Another one that we'll be able to see more of right here. These are his feet. Okay, now right up in here, we're going to just kind of angle this in a little bit. And we're going to draw some eyes. Take a look at the picture again so you can kind of see what we're doing. See? Kind of like that. Okay. So now we're going to just, um, uh-oh. I lost my picture. Here we go. Now we're going to just zoom in there a little bit. And, um, we're going to sketch in some nice round eye shapes inside there. Nice round eye shapes. And then we're going to um, kind of sketch in a nice big nose here at the end. So now I've got my basics in, I'm ready to start shading them in. Okay, and generally speaking, you're going to have dark ears for a German Shepherd. And unfortunately, I gave away my pencil that has the nice shading features on it. So we're just going to do this. Oh, it's okay. I'll manage. So shade in his ears kind of dark. You want to make this part, the, the inside part, seem a little bit darker, especially right on this edge. in there. Okay. We're going to make this ear dark as well. 
and kind of the same thing, just kind of a general gray here. And then shade it in dark over here. Hopefully you guys have a regular pencil. So there's my ear, pretty dark. Okay, now we're going to shade in these eyes, okay? We'll draw the sparkle. those eyeballs in except for the little sparkle. And then also shade in this, this triangle shape furry area. But you can you can darken in some of the spots around the eye to make it more contrasting. going to bring this down a little bit. And this line that I drew, I'm going to make it a little bit of a shadow. Give him a little shadow right here. Give him a little shadow right here too. And make him look kind of furry on the edge of his face there. Okay. We'll do the same thing over here. Don't shade in your little sparkle, but shade in everything else. What, what's the little sparkle? Where's that? Right here. Okay. If you accidentally shade your sparkle, you can erase it back. Okay. And then on this one, we're going to do shading in a triangle shape also, you need to darken in that edge to make it show up better you can. It's, it's got that dark fur around his eyes and it kind of can make those eyes look like they disappear a little bit. So then just to add a little bit more shading, remember this right here is going to have a shadow. Okay. He's starting to look German Shepherd like a little bit. Yours isn't or mine isn't? Oh, well, we'll work on it. Okay. So, remember these little sketchy lines we drew in here? We're going to make them um, like shading. Yeah, a little bit. Well, mine's just kind of scribbly, so don't don't feel like you have to have all kinds of perfection because I'm just making mine kind of sloppy, okay? But sometimes that's fun. All right, now I'm going to shade in his nose. Um, he does have a tail, but we can't see it in the picture. Okay, so we'll. Shade in his nose, make him have a, a darker area right down the center of his nose right there. And also where his nostrils are, we're going to make it really dark. Cute old German Shepherd. Okay, now um, the other thing that we need to know about German Shepherds is their noses are generally dark around the outside, the fur is generally kind of dark. So we're going to shade him in kind of dark on the bottom part of his nose as well. So you might have to sketch in your lines a little bit darker so you can see them, but you want to make it kind of dark. 
Okay, and remember, you can make it look furry. You don't have to have a, a straight, smooth line. Make it look furry. Give it a little scribble there. Oh my gosh, she's looking so cute. Okay. Um, dark value right there. Okay. And then for his paws, they're going to be a lighter value. We're going to just draw in a few little toes, right? And this one. And you can sketch in some claws if you want to. But basically, we don't have a lot of detail going on with his paws, right? And then on his back over here, we're going to... Let's add a little bit of shading right there, kind of right above his eyes, right in between. And let's add a little shadow right here. And let's add um, kind of some shadow on his back as well, because German Shepherds have some dark fur on their back on the top. It kind of lightens up as it comes around to his belly. But we'll just kind of shade him in a little bit up there. Um, this dog in the picture, he's on some steps, so if you want to sketch in the steps, you can, or you could just decide where you want him to be. Like, if you want him to be laying in the grass, hanging out, you can. You don't have to make it just like the photograph. You can make it kind of however you like. So, um, I think I'm just going to kind of leave mine like this. But I might want to put just a little bit of dark shadow right underneath him. Just a little bit. To kind of give him a place to be. And when you feel like you've got a pretty good German Shepherd drawn, you're pretty happy with your sketch, then of course, what do you do when you're proud of your work? You sign it. You sign it, obviously, right? You all knew that already. So sign it.